What's that over there? It's a bird. I am Stacy A. Cross, and there is no E in my, my name. name. Stacey A. Cross, and there is no E in my name. It's Personal Development Sunday. It's only right that I come to you live and direct from the lab and studio for Comfort Killers by Comfort Killers. Today, I'm talking about three affirmations that'll change your mindset quickly, quick. And I've taken it from the 21 Affirmations from a Comfort Killer. It's a program, audio and ebook, that I delivered to my Comfort Killers not too long ago. And it is available right now for a whopping $21. I'm going to give you three out of the 21 ones that I feel are very important. Those that kind of snapped me back into a Slim Jim, made me think, made me get ready, made me get up, gave me power, gave me energy, feeling great about life, feeling great about thriving. So 21 affirmations for a comfort killer. The link is below. Go get the whole pack because I got over three hours of audio program where I give to you examples how I did it, how I used affirmations. One of the things that I found with affirmations was that it wasn't actionable enough. Yeah, I could say I am beautiful, but what am I doing to live this beauty? What am I doing to really interject and attract beauty to me? So that's what I did when I changed the game of how affirmation should be said, sent and how it should be said and how it should be delivered in your life so you have some action behind it. Remember, action creates everything, okay? We can sit here and think to death. We can sit here and really think ourselves to death, but we need to commit to action to get whatever we want. If I pan this camera, panorama style, 360, you'll see a beautiful view. That gives me energy, that gives me light, that gives me love, that gives me greatness, acceptance, power, beauty, and it's effective. So I wanna give you three that were effective to me, and, and these are still things that I use to this day. So baby, let's go with the first one. It says here, I am a comfort killer. All of them starts with that. I am, say it. I am a comfort killer. I know that time is a precious commodity that I must manage wisely. I know that wasted time takes me further away from my goal and dreams. I dominate time by being mindful of it, working with it, and I know that I have to maximize time to succeed. Where are the action points in here? The knowing, the understanding. Hey, listen, I'm looking at my watch. I got to go. I got to keep moving. Am I hyper-focused at these two hours to get this video done, to get it packaged, to put it on YouTube? That takes action. That takes knowing that I have this block of time to do something. But it also, I, I know that, hey, I can't just say someone calls me and someone calls my phone stays. Could you go down to the street? Could you go down over here? Could you make it here? No, I can't. It's saying no. Saying no more than you say yes because you know things that move you away from your goals, things that move you away from your commitment to yourself and to your business and to your life, you say no to. So it's all about controlling and dominating time and you have to know how much time you have. How, many, how much time do we all start with today? We start with 24 hours, baby. Some of us wasted an extra three, four hours in the bed. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Hey, listen, I gotta get up an hour early. And for that hour early, I'm going to crush it. Whatever I do, even if I say, hey, listen, I'm gonna walk around the block for this hour. I'm gonna walk around town for this hour. I'm gonna make sure I get my steps in. And you do it. And you make sure you commit to it because it's very important. It's all about action here. The next one is, I am a comfort killer. This changed your mindset really quick. Once I put this thing in motion right here, Things just started, like, I mean, just magically happening for me. Check this out. During my travels and commute, I opt to listen to audiobooks instead of music and talk radio. In my free time, I read books that will support my growth and teach me new techniques, strategies, and standards that will support me at the right time. I did this, man. I shut the radio off. People said, Stace. Stace. 
Jay-Z Stace. Hey, have you heard that new thing, the new Jay-Z album 4.4444? And I'm like, no. Nah. No, I didn't, I didn't listen to it. I didn't, I didn't hear it yet. You know why I didn't hear it yet? Because when I'm riding around in that whip, in that moving university, the thing that I change, I'm listening to things that uplift me, energize me, give me the resources, give me the tools, give me the strategies. These books, these audio books, the consciousness that people left behind in their products will move me and I will use it to my advantage. I, when, and when I have free time, let me tell you what I do. Let me see if I can snatch it here. I just purchased this one. It's a Navy SEAL mental toughness book. And, you know, I, I sacrificed some space here. As you know, I'm not in the Comfort Killers, like the original with the Comfort Killer sign. You guys remember that? I'm not there anymore. I sacrificed all I needed to bring was my books, okay? Because I'm a Comfort Killer. Anywhere I go, I'm nimble. I'm motivated to send these messages to you. So I got this book. In my free time, it's a small, short book. I'm down to a book a week now because I said, you know what? I got to keep flowing in this input, this input, this input. I got to keep getting more energy to me. Now, I'm on mental toughness. I'm on this kind of strength for the rest of the month. So I'll get another book that adapts to this book. And that's just how it goes. And I go in the car and I'm listening to Relentless. Matter of fact, you want to see how real it is. This is it. This is it. I go to my phone. I have my... Um, Bluetooth hooked up to my speaker in here, and what, what's playing? Let's see if you can hear this. Some decisions are less challenging. After every game, I used to ask Michael one question. This is Tim Grover Relentless. Five, six or seven. Uh, and I do that on purpose. I mean, there's no music coming out of here. I do listen to music. I got some vinyl down here. And, but I set a time for that. Right now, I'm in development mode. Everything around me, surrounding me, has to be able to move me forward. Anything that's backtracking me, I have no time for it. And the last one, baby, the last one, in your eardrum, okay? This one right here, it's all about power. Check this out. I am a comfort killer. You always started off like that. It just gets you in the mood like, mm, I'm a comfort killer. I am a comfort killer. I know my power. I learn to change my attitude and vision. I no longer debate, argue, or involve myself in meaningless activity among my peers. I expand my reach by being around people who are more successful than I am. I offer to help these people, but I don't expect anything in return. I change my crowd, and by doing that, I change my outcome. Perfect example, I change my environment here. I need to be amongst you know people that are moving, uh, young professionals, professionals, entrepreneurs, those that are healthy living. I'm actually up. I'm doing a lot of workouts now because you know when I pick, I should pan this camera. You should see people are running back and forth. Right, things are moving. The energy is moving. This guy right here right now is biking, you know, to where he needs to go. So I needed to move around that. And then my mentor lives. My mentor's office is over there. A place he's building is right there. Two businesses. He got. I love that energy. And I'm around him a lot, and I'm around all these, these awesome folks that wrote, and I'm listening to a lot of this. Of course, my outcomes change. Of course, I'm sitting around a table with millionaires discussing, just, hey, let's, let's start this LOC. Oh, this product, let's start this. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, damn. Two years ago, I wouldn't even think, I wouldn't even begin to think that I would be in this environment, in this situation, in this experience. Life is all about experiences. And affirmations are great. 100% in love with affirmations. They did wonders for me. Matter of fact, when I was living in Delaware, I used to post, I didn't know, I was just getting started, right, in personal development. So I printed out all these affirmations, over 100 of them, posted them in the bathroom, took a shit, looked to the left, affirmations in my face, in the kitchen, at the door when I'm leaving, affirmations in my face. But these affirmations were just, I just said them. Right? And there was no action behind them. So I wanted to make 21 affirmations for a comfort killer that had so much action behind them that you could feel it in your damn bone gristle, okay? So you live by these affirmations, change your mindset quickly, okay? So there's 21 of them. I gave you three of them. Link is below. Go grab yourself that. I am Stacey A. Cross. And there is no E in my name. Until next time. Comfort killers.